It's one of the most talked about anti-aging devices of the moment, but is the New Face Facial Toner worth the money? And do you need to buy the very pricey attachments and gel primer sold alongside it? Well, here's what I think. So I've seen quite a few positive reviews on YouTube for this new face facial toner and it uses microcurrent to tone the face and neck by re-educating the muscles, improving blood flow to the area and promoting the production of collagen, which is of course something that we naturally lose over time as we age. So if you've ever used something like a TENS machine, and um, I use one during childbirth, so that's not something I'm likely to forget anytime soon. Um, it is a little bit like using that in that it's microcurrent based and you can feel it at times on your skin, but it's just prickling. It's not painful to use at all. And so looking at the reviews, I was definitely keen to give the new face a try for myself. But when I went online to buy one, I saw there were kind of multiple options and packages and there were different attachments and there's a gel primer to go, for, um, go with it. And I was really unsure about what to go for. So in the end, I bought this larger sized Trinity device on Amazon and it came with a small 59 milliliter gel primer and together they cost me 270 pounds or $325 in the US for that package. And I'll link to what I bought in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself. I also bought the L attachment which has these little mini prongs on the top because I was particularly keen to get an eye lift from this device and that was what I was aiming for and the attachment is marketed for use on the eyes and lips. So I assumed wrongly that the Trinity couldn't be used on those areas but as I'll come to, it absolutely can. So I've since sent the attachment back and I've got a refund on it. The L attachment was £135 in the UK or $150 in the US, and that's a lot of money for a couple of little metal prongs. There's also a smaller mini facial toning device, which is about £160 uh, with the, the primer. And again, I'll link to that below. Now you can't use the L attachment with the new face mini, but in my opinion, it is the smarter buy. I mean, microcurrent is microcurrent, and I can't think that delivering it through a smaller head is going to make any difference to the end result. So I think I should have saved myself a hundred pounds and gone with the smaller model. However, you live and learn, and I'm now uh, using the Trinity daily. I've done that for the past month and I've gradually changed the way that I use it. So the device comes with an instruction booklet and it's full of different movements and holds. There's a five minute quick routine, or you can kind of add in extra holds and spend closer to 15 minutes on a treatment. And in particular, if you're using an attachment, it's gonna to add to the time. So with the idea being that you use it regularly, I very quickly hit a wall on how much time I was willing to spend on it. So here I am using the device with the L attachment for the first time and I've speeded it up in places to save you having to watch me faffing around for a full 15 minutes, which is what the whole routine took me. But have a look at that routine and also make note of how often I'm having to apply that gel primer and how much of it I'm having to use. Okay, so this is me using the new face for the very first time. So forgive me, it may not be pretty. I might not get all the moves right. Um, I've just got the instruction guide open in front of me. So this is me putting on the gel primer. Okay. Let's give this a go. Charged it for 12 hours. There it is on. And I am going to put it on its highest setting. Glutton for punishment. There you go. Right. Moving up. Okay. Oh, I can feel it there where I don't have the um, primer on. That's interesting. Okay, okay. Right. Okay. One. And with the gel, you can't feel it. Anywhere where you don't have the gel, you feel it more. Okay, 
with her. I mean, the really interesting thing will be how long, say I get a lift from this, how long will that actually last? So this is five minutes already. So it's more than a five minute routine really, isn't it? Okay. Oh God, that is really actually, oh jeez, that is full. Putting the primer on, that is full on around the mouth. Ah, oh, not getting this right. Also very prickly up there. When I had all therapy, that's where here and here and around the mouth, that was where it was most intense, around the eyes. Um, let's have a look. Do I see any difference? The separate attachment. Again, looking at the guide, I'm gonna turn this down to three because I'm not quite brave enough to do it full whack first time. Okay, stand by to watch me get this horribly wrong. Not feeling anything. Doesn't actually say here how many times you're supposed to do this for, but it's just one each. Third. Okay, now I'm gonna go with under the eyes. I want to do about a hundred of these on the brow area. <laughs> uh, on three, I'm hardly feeling anything here. Uh, yeah, the upper one I'm a little bit confused about because it's showing three separate positions, but it's probably supposed to go above the brow here, which I made a mistake with before. Right, I've not quite done that in sync. And I don't know how many times you're supposed to do those advanced ones for, but you know, I'm getting started here. I'm getting an idea. So that was me using the Trinity for the first time with the attachment. And as I said, I very quickly realized there was no way I could do the full routine with the attachment daily. So the L is designed for those hard to reach areas. Yet there are no areas that are actually impossible to reach using the Trinity. You know, I can pass it over the eyes, I can pass it over the lips. So to me, the attachment was a waste of money and that's why I sent it back. What I do instead now is daily, I run the Trinity over my face for about three minutes in a scaled down routine because that's as much as I have time for. So on its own, this 59 milliliter primer costs 20 pounds on Amazon. It's cheaper on Amazon in the US where I found it for $14. Um, but in the UK, it's sold more cheaply on the current body website and they also sell the new face devices. So um, I'll include links below and then you can check out the range of option. So you'll have noticed in that little clip from earlier that you use up quite a lot of this primer. And I reckon that if I used it the way it's designed to be used, it would have been gone within two or three weeks. So um, it has an aqua base um, and it's designed to conduct the current. Um, it's also got hyaluronic acid in it as well. Um, but to make it last longer, what I did was I just moistened my face with tap water. And um, I, that meant I could just use a single sort of smear of the primer on my skin and it made it last longer and go much further. They don't call us Scots canny for nothing. And if there's a money saving ruse, I'm gonna find it. So take a look now at my new scaled down, money saving new face routine. So I just want to show you my super quick new face daily routine and I figure that by doing it just a little bit every day rather than following slavishly the full routine um, three four times a week then yes I'm cutting corners but I hope I'm getting some benefit and not taking up too much time every day because I have no patience to stand for 10-15 minutes doing something like that. Okay so what I do is to avoid using a lot of the expensive primer, first of all, I wet my hands, okay? So wet them under the tap, give them a shake, so you're just getting your face quite damp. And from there, I am taking a dollop. I'm not sure if dollop is an internationally recognized word, but anyway, larger than a pea. There you go, you can see that. 
I'm spreading that right the way over my face. And because I'm doing this, if I wasn't using, if I hadn't wet my face, so if I hadn't used the water, then I would have had to take about a dollop of that for each area and it would have dried in pretty quickly. This way, by having a wet face, you can cover the whole face and it won't have dried in. Um, so the way I do it is rather than going over every area three times, which I just can't be bothered to do, is I go over it once or twice. And I also do not always go by the beep. I mean, I just keep moving. I do hold up these little folds and I like to go put the current along here. You know, I'm not following the same routine every day. I am broadly just aiming to pass the current over my face every day. You know, it's not what the manufacturer advises, but if I get a result out of doing this, great, because the alternative of standing for ages every day, waiting for the beat, then doing every area three times, and then swapping to a new attachment and all the rest of it, I cannot be bothered with. So I ditched the L attachment, as I said, and I hold up the eyebrows and move it up the forehead, making sure to cross over into the middle. You know, I should say this is not a tutorial on how to use the new face. This is how I use the new face. And I will do this in the morning on the weekends, um, but otherwise, I just do it super quick in the evenings. I actually find if I do this too much, at the, at the in, if I do it for too long at night, um, I feel like it stimulates the nervous system somehow and I can't sleep so well. So I just have to be careful about that. You know, something like that is just broadly my routine. Wipe this down and I do clean the primer off my face because it's sticky. But I still got, it's still a little bit moist still a little bit slippery just because I've wet my face and I'm probably saving myself a small fortune in the process, so you can too. So I'm just a month into using the new face and it's too early to do a before and after results reveal. What I want to do is use this for another few months using my scaled down routine and um, by then I hope to be able to see a difference. I've certainly seen enough evidence from other YouTubers to believe that if I consistently use this, it will hopefully give me a bit of a lift. In particular, I'm looking to regain the sculpted jawline that I got from doing an all therapy treatment at the end of 2019. And I'll share that results video here. Um, I'm always looking for a lift around the eyes and I'm also really hoping to see an improvement there. So the makers do say that you should see a little bit of a lift immediately after using the new face. Um, I have to say, I've not seen anything terribly obvious, but it does help if I'm having a particularly kind of puffy, sagging eye day pretty much every day. Um, it's a little bit of a help immediately. Um, any immediate lift that you do get from that device is gonna be short lived, but used over time, it should provide lasting results because it's stimulating those muscles and hopefully promoting collagen production too. It's FDA approved and microcurrent is generally considered a safe treatment. So time will tell on the results. I'll be reporting back in three months time. But for now, if you want to try this for yourself, save yourself a small fortune and get the little mini version and then wet your face before using the primer to make it last longer. So my feeling is that having had sales success with the new face device, the company behind it are now kind of looking for new ways to keep you spending. And so that's what comes with the added attachments and the expensive primer gels and so on. And you don't really need all that. Primer, which has the hyaluronic acid in it, and that helps draw moisture to your skin. So you can leave it on, but I find it a bit sticky. So I rinse most of it off, and therefore I'm literally rinsing the money down the drain. Um, so if I find a cheaper alternative, I'll let you know. But after this little tube is finished, I am gonna be tempted to just use the new face on damp skin and see how I get on. So I will report back 
in three months time. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's lots more like it on the channel. So do check out my various reviews and uh, they cover everything from household appliances to beauty treatments and lots more. And if you hit subscribe, you'll see my next video as soon as I publish it. Next time, I'm gonna be sharing some early results from using glycolic acid daily on my skin. So that's one to look out for. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.